Greetings one and all. Welcome to another episode of Apple Stump Bushcraft Stuff and Things. At long last we have our 24 hour food pack. This is a commercial menu pack made in New Zealand sent to me by my sister from Auckland. And today we're going to tear into it after a delay. Unavoidable. Been under the weather for a few days and now we're feeling a little better and more like having something to eat. So let's check in and see what's in there. Today's featured special guest knife is this case trapper. It's a commemorative knife. And you can see we have two blades, a spade blade, sort of and a clip point. Sometimes these are called muskrat knives. So let's get into the bag and see what holds in store. Okay, so let's take out this package insert. And on the back, the meals are broken down into breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But we'll get all the contents out and see what they look like. Here we have a Jack Link's beef snack. That'll be good. Raspberry and apple Go Native fruit bar. This is coffee. Jed's bean bags, bags of flavor. And there's, I guess, strength number three. I'll put that in there. Green seas, tuna, oven dried tomato, and herb dressing. some creamer, another creamer, sugar, another sugar, salt, Porter's Premium Classic Blend Tea. Natural Muesli with Milk Powder. Instant Rice. Biscuit, cream cracker. And the main entree, vegetable curry. Okay, so that's everything that's in the bag. All right, here's what our friends the Kiwis recommend for breakfast out of this 24-hour pack. Natural muesli with milk powder. 100 grams. And the directions are to mix with water to desired consistency. Jed's bean bag. Bag of flavor coffee. Now, as we've learned before, I'm not much for coffee, but I'll make an exception today. So we'll use our case peelable seal opener to open that up. And 
And the instructions are add boiling water to the bean bag. Give it a gentle squeeze to unlock the flavor, the full flavor. Let it brew for three to four minutes and give it another squeeze and take the bag out. So, never seen one of these before. That's what it looks like. Kind of like a tea bag, but heavier. And there's a tag on the end of it. I'll drop that into our double wall stainless steel cup. Just happen to have some boiling water on hand. So the tag went in. It's supposed to give it a squeeze to unlock the flavor. So we'll squeeze it against the side of the cup. Let it brew for a few minutes. And while that's brewing, we decided that this packet for the muesli is actually too small to prepare it in, I think. Let's open it up and see. Yeah, I don't think I want to add water to that. So, appearing today for the first time, at least in uh, any of my MRE review videos, is this GSI cup, stainless steel, single wall. We're going to use this for a bowl today. It usually looks like it has some um, nuts in it and some other nice stuff. Maybe dates, nuts, raisins. Pour that in there. Oh my goodness, that looks good. Yeah, 10% whole milk powder. Dried nuts, dried pineapple, dried apples, dried papaya, cane sugar and raisins and seeds, pumpkin and sunflower. So that's going to be pretty good. So we'll add some cold water to that. It says to add to desired consistency. We'll use our MRE spoon from many moons ago to mix this up. Let's try that out. Now it's going to absorb a lot of that water. I don't want it really watery, but I also don't want it dry like the desert. So a little bit more, maybe rehydrate those dehydrated parts. I think the GSI cup was a good idea. That looks good, doesn't it? We'll try that out in a few minutes. Now let's take a look at the Go Native Raspberry and Apple Fruit Bar. Throw yourself at life, it says. So again, we'll use our case peelable seal opener. Try not to open up our fingers. And out it comes, looking pretty good. up the muesli a little bit and yeah, that's looking like how I want it. Not too watery. Kind of like the way I like oatmeal. This is cold rather than hot which will be fine. And so now the coffee ought to be just about brewed. If I can fish that tag out of there and dunk it a little bit. As I say, I'm not a fan of coffee, but for the sake of a full-hearted review here, we'll try it. Well, it's not cooperating with my squeeze methodology. <laughs> All right. 
so be it. Squeeze it against the side of the cup. And let's put it in the creamer. It's really a nice package. It's not paper. It's quite obviously plastic and it's been heat sealed. So let's zip that open. And in it goes, nice and powdery. And we're also going to put the sugar in. should be enough stirring. Although it looks like the creamer still got a few little clots in it. Coffee is not necessarily supposed to have texture, right? Shouldn't be gritty. All right, bottoms up. Now I've had coffee in the past a few cups. I think I've had five cups in my life, so I have a very limited basis of comparison. But this is pretty strong even with the creamer and the sugar added. It smells nice. It's a little bitter for my taste but then I'm not a coffee drinker. What we may do is add some half and half to that. Any of you folks who are fans of strong coffee would appreciate this I'm sure. It's quite full-bodied coffee aftertaste lingers for a long time. So here's some half and half, about maybe an ounce. I'm going to pour that in there. The half and half will have cooled off the coffee quite a bit, but that's okay. Unfortunately, I can't pop this stainless steel cup into the microwave and heat it up, but we'll do what we can with what we got. Cheers. It's still hot. And that did the trick. That's much more mild, and I like that as much as I can possibly like coffee. All right, we're back. And I wanted to give some kind of size comparison here to the uh, raspberry and apple fruit bar. So there's a U.S. quarter. That's how big it is. So I've been advised by my production assistant that some of you out there may not know what grams are. So grams are a unit of weight in the metric system. There's 30 grams in an ounce, U.S., roughly. And so a 100 gram package of natural muesli with milk powder would be about three and one third ounces by weight. A kilogram is 1,000 grams or 2.2 pounds if you come across that measure. All right, let's have a little nip out of this raspberry apple fruit bar, which is rather small, but Oh, fragrant. Smells really good. Smells really fruity. Mmm. Tastes that way too. That just has just enough tart to get the juices flowing. It's chewy. Not quite like a gummy bear. Hmm, what would it be? Hard to describe. Maybe like dried mango or dried pineapple or something. Not that sweet, nice and tart, just enough sweetness to cut that, and uh, pretty good. Okay, have some more coffee. It's just the right drinking temperature right now, and the combination of the dry creamer, about an ounce of half and half, and that little teaspoon of sugar makes it drinkable for me. Let's dive into the muesli here. Stir it up a little bit and see if it needs more water. It does not. It looks just about right for my taste. A little spoonful here. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Okay. Down the hatch. First flavor that comes through is oats. There's quite a few in there. It's kind of like rolled oatmeal. 
and then after that there's some fruity flavor, of course the flavor of the milk. And it's not really sweet. I wouldn't say that there's a lot of added sugar in there by any means. And let's see on this spoonful, right on top, three green pumpkin seeds. We like pumpkin seeds, so here we go. Mm. Those add a nice texture to it, nice chewiness and crunch. I suppose if you wanted to, you could sweeten this up a little bit if you like to have sweeter muesli. It's not terribly sweet, but I like it. Let's get a raisin on there and some other stuff. There's a raisin and a couple of pumpkin seeds and who knows what else. There we go. Mmm. Uh, that raisin made a difference. Have another bite of the fruit bar. I'm really pressed to try to define the texture of that. Anybody who's eaten fruit by the foot probably would recognize that or any of those rolled up fruit tapes. That's the closest thing I can think of that it comes to. No water necessary with that particular bar. It's um, tart enough to make additional water unnecessary, at least for eating that. I hate to wash that good taste down with coffee, but I'm going to do it. Here we go. This will be cup of coffee number six in my lifetime tally of coffee. All right, more muesli. This is really good, surprisingly so. Not sweet, but it's not too bland either. It's got enough extra stuff in there beyond the oats to make up for the fact that it isn't sweet. It's getting cold at night around here. We've already had some hard frost that killed all the flowers and all the plants that we were enjoying through the summer, except for a couple that are frost tolerant. But getting back to the issue of cold, if I were camping out and waking up and having this, I would definitely boil some water and have it warm. And we'll swig a coffee. coffee. It's still strong, but it's palatable. And that fruit bar just keeps doing its thing. If you were really thirsty and had to ration your water, um, that would be something good to do because that would bring out the juices in your mouth, make you feel like you've had a drink when you actually haven't. Okay, so we had the production assistant give a taste to the Muesli, and she says very good, but definitely she'd prefer it with hot water. I could eat it either way, as I say, in a cold camp. Hot water would be the way I'd go, but here in the house, don't need that extra warmth. Although next time I eat it, I think I'm going to try it with hot water anyway, just so I can have a comparison. I like it the way it is. Just fine. So there's a raisin coming up. Down the hatch. Yum. I'd say that's better than an instant breakfast type drink, at least it gives you something to do, chewing on all that. Satisfying texture. It has an interesting overall mix of flavors once it gets working. Looks like I spilled it down the front of my shirt, which is typical. Let's have some more. There's kind of a subtle, um, not really sourness, but tang or something associated with the oats. 
and I guess that's just a product of what they are. I don't think it's related to anything else that's in there. It's that kind of, if you open a box of oatmeal and smell it, it's kind of that smell made into a flavor. Just a little bit earthy, a little bit not really tart, but tangy in some way. There's a raisin on there, and probably surprises inside. Oh, there's a pumpkin seed too. So I haven't run into anything that I can identify as papaya or pineapple in there. There's just so many flavors mixed together that it's difficult to tell. I'm going to go ahead and finish that up and enjoy the rest of the fruit bar. And we'll get back to you with a summary. Alright, well that pretty much does it for this New Zealand 24-hour pack breakfast menu, which again was muesli with powdered milk, raisins, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, papaya, and dried pineapple. Coffee with creamer and sugar, and I added a little bit of half and half. There was a raspberry and apple fruit bar, which was very good. And, of course, we had our special guest opener, this case trapper. Quite sharp, very nice knife. And that's the first time it's ever been used. So we'll put it back in its proper carrying case. I give the muesli a 10. Once again, the options would be to either have cold water or hot water for your mix. And we'll try hot water next time that we come across some muesli and see how we like that. The coffee was quite strong. I give it a... <laughs> so I'm not a coffee drinker. How do I rate coffee? Hmm, I give it a C. I just don't like coffee that much, but it's palatable and uh, drinkable. I had to add a little bit of half and half to it to make it that way for me, so that's how come it gets a C instead of a higher grade. It's very strong. Those of you that like strong black coffee probably be well advised with that particular brand. Leave it as is because it's plenty strong. Not quite done with that. I'm going to have another sip. So, that's going to about do it for the breakfast edition. Looking forward to lunch, which will be our next review. We have the biscuit cream cracker, the green seas tuna, and Jack Link's beef steak, or beef jerky stick. So that'll be fun. And then looking ahead yet further for dinner, we'll have the vegetable curry main, the um, rice. Those are going to require some heating up did not come with a flameless ration heater. And then we have tea, creamer, salt and pepper, and the sugar for the tea. So that's what remains ahead. For the time being though, apple stump, bushcraft stuff and things, wishing you a prosperous week ahead. And a happy weekend. Take care, stay safe, adios.